Hello boys and girls, we are back for another Yantsu podcast yet again for www.santatracking.net and we are back with the new track of the season and you know what that means, it means new NORAD stuff, new things to talk about, new speculation, new show, new website update, all sorts of that and we're going to be cracking into that along with Jason hey. and Patrick. Hello. Jason's a, a cabinet member for Team Yansu and Patrick is an honorary member. So guys, how, what, how do you think last year's show was and how that went down and stuff like that? I think it was a terrible blast. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree Patrick. Yeah, I think I think we got pretty decent numbers uh, to be exact. I think we got about two point eight thousand viewers during that day. We had major growth on Facebook, thanks to every single one of you that came up, watched the stream, liked our social medias. Without you guys, all this wouldn't be possible. Also, we had uh, the introduction of our own cams. How do you think those went down? Obviously, I made I myself was the uh, front runner who produced such cams. Uh, do you think it was a success and did you enjoy them yourselves? Um, I mean, I think the camps were great. Uh, it was, I mean, I know you didn't have a lot of time to make them, but you oh, did yeah, a yeah. really good job. It, <laughs> I think I was, I was making them uh, within a week. It was a very strenuous hard work. And how cam our cams work it's like uh we take the updates from Nora Track Santa and it's like a reconstruction of like a reimagining of what actually is happening at the North Pole. That's why our North Pole isn't is kind of similar and it, even more similar this year than uh Norad's North Pole. Um Patrick what was your point of view of the cams? I think they were uh, well executed and um, it gave some people a visual representation of something to look at in terms of uh, the preparation stages that we always get every year in the text format on the NORAD map, but we never get to see. So um, that's huge. Very, very huge. I mean, we, for the first time last year, we streamed for a total of 24 hours, I think. And I was there to stream the start and the end which was exhausting but it was a lot of fun at the same time we had a lot of interaction during the show and it was a huge success we all were very proud of the tracking day and also uh i think the, the morning show in its first time was a huge success as well and it will again be doing a 24-hour format for the show and changing the times of the pre-show, um, Jason, can you say when the time of the pre-show is? At uh, 6 Eastern to 8 Eastern, I believe. How do you think the uh, pre-show went down last year? I think it went pretty good. Um, if I believe you hosted, didn't you? I, I think I hosted the first hour and then Kenny hosted yeah. the second hour. Yeah, you guys did a really great job. Yeah, we we I think we got good numbers for that. I can't really remember them from the top of my head, but I think we did all right on the uh, pre-show standpoint. It definitely hyped people up for preparing for the show. Yeah, Pat Patrick, did you um, catch the pre-show last year? As I recall, I had something to do. I might have caught a tail end of uh, Kenny's portion of the show, but what I did see was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And I I'm glad we can continue to. Um, broadcast the pre-show every year because it gives everybody a sneak peek of um, what to expect for the main show and just kind of get the hype rolling a little early for everybody. Yeah, again, the there wasn't much change with the Santa cams coming from Norred like we wanted to, and we had a podcast about Santa cams actually where we were ranting and had hope that they would change something but it didn't seem the case again last year despite it being actually the 60th anniversary of Norachat Santa and it was quite disappointing but also the route was fairly similar but then it kind of diverted and Santa made his own route which was pretty cool and that started to make us more hype throughout the day Facebook phenomenal growth and it's currently phenomenal growth at the minute as we reach December of 2016 uh, currently we're standing on about 385 likes at the time we're recording this and now we're changing platforms this year to YouTube 
Uh, I think the reasoning for this is because YouTube's a more accessible uh, and reliable uh, platform than Ustream. Do you two have a kind of point of view of the changing of the platform for the stream and how that will benefit us? I honestly think that Ustream was a great platform. Um, it did have its issues going into it and it's a little bit less accessible. Um, but in the long term, we've always been the YouTube association. So um, I think coming to YouTube is the right decision and it's something we should have done a while back but I'm glad we waited and now all the kinks in the live system are not nearly as bad as they used to be and I think we'll be a lot better off and everything that we do will end up on our page uh, afterwards so we can go back and we don't have to worry about uploading our footage it'll already all be there recorded for us to rewatch again after in my opinion anything's going to have its pros and its cons um, but I definitely think YouTube is going to be a lot better than you stream and um, blog TV or whatever we used before you stream, especially because yeah, it's blog. It is blog TV. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. And because I mean, I know I always thought it'd be cool if we were able to um, record the show, and now we can do that since YouTube already does it. Yeah, that gives you the uh, capabilities to create highlights and also record the entire stream. I believe. Uh, uh, obviously, we'll go through it and probably change a few things, like remove all the ads and stuff like that. Uh, and breaks and that lot and oh, all sorts it will it will look fantastic when it's uploaded we promise probably we'll have a bit of like hit flaws here and there but you know it'll be our perfect wonderful show also I think you, YouTube gives us the capability of broadcasting our actual YouTube channel that we've created last year and that's now reached 50 subs and I'll, hopefully it boosts to you a lot more this year we're hoping for a good turnout this year. We're, I'm not going to exactly set a target as it's a new platform. And uh, the sky's the limit, I think, for this team at the minute, considering the amount of growth we've gained in recent months, leading up to December 24th, of course. Um, but also, we, as well as a platform change, we've kind of changed the whole format of our website to make it a lot more child-friendly. We've done a complete rebranding of the team we've changed all sorts it's been a year of change for Yancy certainly we've changed literally everything and for the better actually our website is a lot more accessible easy to use we've got the old North Pole countdown villages from NORAD I believe it's the 2010 and the 2012 countdown villages so if you want to play on those games from last year's and you uh, from those years sorry and do not particularly like the current countdown villages that NORAD currently provides under their new websites then visit soundtracking.net and you can find them accordingly um, Jason and Patrick, what are your points of views on the website and how it's been designed this year compared to, I, I'm going to say, more of a basic format that it was last year and a bit kind of, it was a bit messy at, t at some places of the website, whereas this year I think it's a bit more streamlined. What was your point of views? Well, I mean, I like the new website. Um, I know the old website wasn't as mobile friendly as it could have been. And the new website is um, extremely mobile friendly and it's a lot easier to find everything. Um, I think the only con to it was, I mean, we had our update page, which was like, in my opinion, an icon of the website. Like that's where everybody went to get updates and stuff, but we don't have that anymore. But I guess since, you know, Facebook and Twitter and all that are pretty big things, I guess we really didn't need it. Oh yeah. It, it could you never know you never say never it could return in the future uh i guess this was a, a test for a new format for yancy we wanted to expand bigger and i've been working personally on graphics like crazy for the past year uh also patrick how do you think the website has changed and do you think it's for the better I honestly feel like the website has been uh, growing, and now that we're finally in an HTML5 format, um, it's going to be mobile-friendly, which is a great thing. I know there's certain things we're always working on the website or adding or changing, and um, if anything, December is the best month for the changes to roll in. And the wonderful thing is 
yeah, we do a lot of changes to the website throughout the year, but a majority of our fans don't get a chance to see it till December anyways. Um, so going into December, we can expect our fans to maybe give us a little bit more feedback, tell us what they like and what they don't like. We've been quite lucky with quite a bit of fan feedback. We've had many, of course, I want to mention some Santa trackers that we connect with on Twitter, such as people like, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, like, I can't remember their names, but they, you know who you are if you're listening. Uh, I'm sorry for forgetting the, your names. I, I Literally, my mind just went completely blank. Uh, but yeah, we've been asking for feedback from many people, and so far we've had quite a pro- positive response. Uh, the team seemed to like it. And long may the uh, success continue. And I think we've made ourselves look a lot more professional and tied up loose ends with the site itself and stuff like that. It went through a massive change. And by massive, I mean like massive. And hopefully you all who are watching will love it when you visit it on December 24th for, of course, watching our main show. And December 23rd, don't forget, for our pre-show. Moving on, uh, Santa Cam's making a return for their second year. We've released two trailers, Summer Trailer and the recent trailer that came out in the, the end of October, which revealed our North Pole for this year. And in fact, due to the good positive feedback that we received last year, I decided to invest quite heavily on the Santa cams. Out of my own pocket, I we we reiterate we're not a non-profit organisation, of course, as we always have been. But we have invested in these cams, and we believe they're going to be bigger and better than they've ever been before. And we hope very much they will be a huge success yet again this year. Um, Jason and Patrick, based on what you've seen, um, more particularly, let's start with Jason first. Um, how do you think the cams look for this year? And do you think it will receive such a good um, feedback that it received last year? Um, I think the webcams, I mean, the Santa cams are... Uh looking really good this year and um i think you're doing a really good job and you're working hard and uh yeah you've invested and that shows that you're really dedicated and i think everybody's gonna be surprised on how great they come out yeah last year they were quite naff all the models were free yeah they were all it was quick actually quick mashup uh, last year because it was a quick idea that we developed over the year but it was quite hard to we're trying to figure it out we're touching the uh, I guess dipping our toes into the water some people could say um, Patrick what are your views on this year's Santa cams uh, I know you've messaged me privately uh, recently saying how much you love the cams and saying <laughs> literally you could undo everything I'm saying right now but saying how it kind of reignited your excitement for obviously the track and day considering NORAD doesn't or they've not refreshed their cams for a while they've started recycling them as we've seen previously in the recent two years and mo- we su- suspect this year so how do you think cams will turn out this year i'm actually really expecting the cams to turn out very well um i'm i really want to go into this blind i don't like last year i of course i wanted to see all the previews and stuff and i wanted to see how it all turned out because i was so excited uh but this year i i want to be the one surprised and i've i never gone into a blind like this before and uh, as an honorary sitting more as an honorary this year um, I really want to go in and experience this uh, almost from a fan standpoint, even though I'm really going to still be involved with the show. Um, because as a fan, this will be my first year to sit down and fully experience and give you guys feedback um, to help you out as you guys continue to do the show. Yeah, I, I want to re- reiterate one of your points there, where, how you said uh, you're going to be going in blind for these cams. Uh, the reason is because we've kind of made it secret even in our group. Uh, I've not really shown anyone much thing, and as Jenny, uh, Kenny has just joined the call. Yeah, I did. Yeah, 
And uh, obviously, I haven't shown many people what the cans look like so far. It's going to be a surprise for the whole team for sure. They, of course, are uh, recording their own voiceovers again, just to add that little variety, more variety, so you don't have to listen to the same Mr. Monotone as you get on NORAD. Uh, and Kenny just joined the call. So, Kenny, what is your point of view on this year's Santa Cams? We're talking about how this year's Santa Cams have changed and... How, do you think that there will be just as much as success and what are your opinions on the new cams? My opinions for uh, the sound cams are really good this year. My uh, my hopes for the new sound cams will enjoy the viewers and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just got in so I can't really do much. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. I'll let you off there. So, to the more juicier part of the show, obviously, as you've heard, Kenny has now joined us. Uh, NORAD, uh, Track Santa, this year, what to expect? Our speculations, the trailers, the teasing, all of that. Now then, where do we start? How about we start in chronological order? So, we were first greeted with this new style of trailer which showed Santa Claus in his grotto checking the nice list and it was a nice little video bit of a change and we were kind of caught off guard we were like this trailer came out a bit late I think it came out on the 29th of November 28th I think 28th actually and a lot of us were caught off guard uh, I'd like to hear you guys' point of view I'm gonna start with Kenny first so what's your point of view of the first trailer that Nora had released. The first trailer looked really, really good. I mean, it went HD, you know, we're not used to it being HD, we're used to it being it at 480p or whatever. It also caught us off guard the fact that there was no Santa cams in the first trailer. Exactly, yeah. Part where, the, where Santa arrived, whew, that one was pretty good. Yeah. But the it kind of that all our speculation for the Santa cams obviously got kind of a bit squashed the ne the following two days. But uh, Jason, what was your point of view of the new trailer, the first um, one? I really liked it, and I definitely thought it meant that we were gonna have a lot of big changes with NORAD and the website. Um, it definitely got me excited mm -hmm. for just a whole revamp of NORAD. But sadly, that's not the case. So, I don't know what the point of the trailer was, but um, it was very misleading. Yeah, well, it. W I don't know. It, it depends. I don't think we will see a phenomenal amount of change again from NORAD, uh, which is quite disappointing, of course. I think it will be more recycled content. But obviously, you can visit www.santatracking.net for another plug on this podcast of our website, of course, because... We have, quite frankly, more stuff than they ha are providing currently. Obviously, we encourage you to visit Norad as we are coinciding with them. But Patrick, what was your, obviously, thoughts of the first trailer as it was something that we saw? And also, after the second trailer release, what was your thoughts on that as well? I personally felt that um, the first trailer was new. It was something fresh. It was uh, high definition, very high quality. Um, there had to be some sort of budget in place there for the um, decorative stuff for all that. I really enjoyed that one. Um, as for the second trailer, it's the same old, same old we get from NORAD every year. I'm not so thrilled about that, but I am uh, thrilled to go through the tracking experience just like I always am. That'll never change. Yeah, and obviously now it's December 3rd. The website's been released and very little change. It's literally completely identical with last year's uh, website which was very disappointing as we anticipated a revamp because of their itracksanta.com obviously their merchandise website having a bit of a change and they had some things on there that made us think and speculate that there would be change in the uh, NORAD website but that's not the case 
I know we're starting to get a little bit burnt out with this recycling of content, but we shall battle through it and make it yet another entertaining year. Um, Patrick, what is your thoughts on the website this year? Um, it's just sticking with the same format like it always has. Um, there has been some aesthetical changes to it. It's It looks crisper. It looks better. Um, but overall, it's the same website, uh, which is perfectly fine with me. It's in the HTML5 format. It's interactive. It works for everybody uh, just about. Um, so I don't have any complaints other than that. If it, if it works, why change it? That's a fair point that you bring up. If it works, why change it? But we... <laughs> It, we're starting to get in a bit of a I don't know, deja vu all the time, there's literally nothing to be excited for when they do stuff like this but also, with that first trailer that did come out, that did spark some excitement throughout the team and it did fuel like our ambition to do the show this year uh, Kenny, what was your thoughts of the quote unquote new website for NORAD? Like Patrick said, it did. It does look really crisp and HTML5 looking. And I just wanted to point out that they did release the app as well for iOS and Android. That yes, is, I noticed that. That is also on HTML5, which yeah. is really, really good. Yeah, it runs a lot smoother yeah. than last year's. I'll give them credit for that because last year's they used an emulator kind of type for their website, and it was a quite clunky, didn't really work too well. And I think they've optimized it more for the mobile devices. And even more interestingly, they've created it from scratch because they've put it under NORAD on the App Store, and it's now version one point oh, whereas before it's like whatever it was, and. I like how you've brought up the point of the app, actually, because I noticed that they created a new one. Do you have anything more to say about the website? Nope. <laughs> there's, there's literally not much more to say. Uh, Jason, what, what's your point of view of the website? Um, so, I'm actually pretty disappointed. I actually really hope that they would be something different. I mean, I understand what Patrick said, you know, if something works, why change it? But I mean, it's kind of been the same for the past three years. And I think it's time that we see something new. I definitely think the format's definitely getting oversaturated, overused, and it's exhausting us with trying to entertain people and get them motivated to do things, especially when there's a lack of change. It's very hard to be motivated in doing what we do when NORAD aren't changing. Yeah. And it's it's frustrating, it really is. Um, soon we'll actually be getting a perspective from what it's like to be at NORAD. We're currently arranging an interview with a former NORAD head. And you should find more about that if you stay tuned on our YouTube channel. That may be uploaded very soon. Moving on, speculation for the big day. Obviously... We had the website released, it, not much change. Do you think there will be much change in track and day itself, such as the route, Santa cams, all that? Because personally, I think it will just be the same as last year. Like, we'll have like a similar route, different though. Also, s entirely all cams, I think they'll change one. Um, let's start off with Jason. Jason, what are your point of view of the speculation for the upcoming year? I don't think there's going to be much difference. Um, if there is any difference, it will be um, small changes, but nothing that will really take us by surprise. But I mean, we could be shocked and they could totally be hiding something from all of us. And I mean, for all we know, it will become tracking day and the tracker will be totally different. We don't, we, that's the thing, we don't know what's going to happen this year. We'll have to stay tuned and find out what Nora has in store. Kenny, what's your uh, views on the, uh, what's your speculation, in fact, on the upcoming season? My speculation is that it'll not only be more HD and all that, it'll hopefully be optimized more for people who have low-end PCs that 
are tired of low frames. Um, people who can view it at, uh, on mobile and all that, like I said before, for that other question you asked me. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Yeah, there's not much really to say when there's been very little changes we've been shown by the website. And finally, Patrick, have you got any speculation to share with us for the upcoming tracking day? Um, the only speculation I have is I think we can expect another new route because it seems like there's always a new route uh, every year regardless of whether um, how the website looks or anything like that. Yeah, we might have some video changes as well, um, but... As we know, no longer it doesn't matter how long you've been in NORAD track Santa tracking with them, something new happens every year with the route regardless. So I can't even predict that, and I've been looking at it for years. Yeah, we've even made a database now on the uh, past routes that we've been using and constructing. And actually, uh, my brother's been working on that, and he's still yet to finish. So if you're listening, Josh, stop slacking. Okay, so the pre-show um, will be from 6 p.m. Eastern to 8 p.m. Eastern on December 23rd. And it is pretty much just to get everybody ready to start tracking the next day. It is um, just to get the hype going and to really get people excited and to see, um, you know, surprises and stuff. Um, we might hit some stuff. Um, we really haven't... Um, talked much about what's going to happen but i can definitely promise that it's going to be pretty great and you're not going to want to miss it sounds good sounds good i personally think the pre-show will yet again hopefully be another success it's also on youtube this year following the platform change that we have had from Ustream to youtube um kenny how are you feeling for the pre-show this year seeing as how i'm going to be alone for christmas this year i think it'll be fine <laughs> No one in my house uh, is going to be here, so it's just me and you guys. That's going to be awesome. Are you Have you got anything in store for us, a little sneak peek into what you're going to bring to your streaming of the pre-show? Obviously, I'm going to help out and stuff like that, but uh, I believe you're hosting some of the pre-show. Yeah, I'll be hosting some of the pre-show. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes in my in my point of view for the stream but that will be part of the um surprise that i'm hoping for good 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 patrick uh do you think you'll be able to catch the pre-show this year and you are you excited for the pre-show i don't actually have my schedule for work yet so i can't give you a definite answer on that um i would like to make it uh but I know for certain I'm not making at least the half of even the main show on the main day because I have to be at work. Um, but I will be potentially up for the early stuff and and um, as well as the stuff later in the evening. And that's for the main awesome. show, though. Yeah, I suppose growing up sucks. It does. Your childhood disappears. So, no kids, more free time. enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> all right so guys i want to go ahead and ask you this uh work we'll do this as a little pod podcast contest um first week week one what are your predictions on the holiday drink count right uh, as i drink hot chocolate well done <laughs> <laughs> is this for the viewers or for us this is for you guys go ahead and uh Give me your prediction on what the total is going to be by the end of the uh, by the end of Christmas Day. Ah, well, I know Kenny's going to be uh, full of eggnog as he usually does if he finds the eggnog stock that is precious. In, actually, uh, actually, Canada. the eggnog actually like went into stores in October this year, so there's been a lot of uh, purchases on my account on my part for that from October that's awesome to hear so as I was saying the holiday drink counter to answer your question I believe we will reach hmm 25 that's what I'm going to say 25 drinks what about for you Jason 25. what are you saying um well 
knowing the amount of anal that I'll probably buy for the show, um, I'm going to say 50. What about you, Kenny? It's either, it's between 50 and uh, 75 for me. Considering where our totals have been in previous years, I'm going to kind of go right down the middle, closer to Liam. I'm going to go 28. A lot of drinks going to be consumed this year. What would you count as holiday drinks, uh, Patrick? It's uh, peppermint, not peppermint teas, any sort of holiday tea, eggnog, hot chocolate, um, and there's a couple other drinks, but I think that's a majority of them right there. And I think we, we do count milk as well. Coffee. Uh, it has to be a holiday themed coffee, though. Can't just be normal coffee. coffee. Yeah, you can do. If you have a if you have a red cup from uh, Starbucks, that would count. That would count. That would count. <laughs> Anything from Starbucks. Or Tim Hortons. Anything or from Tim, Tim Hortons. Hortons. Yeah, Tim Hortons. Or Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> this is not an endorsement of Starbucks <laughs> or Tim Hortons. Anything can happen. Yeah. And if you want to join along, uh, viewers, you can inform us on the chat and tell us how much you've had to drink, uh, holiday-wise, for during the show. Yeah, uh, what are you guys expecting for Christmas, for gifts? Ooh, Nothing! That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> obviously because everyone's growing up. Uh, I'm not expecting a lot, actually. I think uh, maybe a few new clothes boring stuff i'm actually expecting a gopro oh. hopefully jolly old saint nick can uh, bring me a gopro <laughs> how about you jason um i don't know i mean with the move and everything i legitly have not even thought about what i want but if i had to pick something i'd probably want i saw it at walmart the other day this like um it was the peanuts holiday collection i would totally want that Sounds sounds interesting for sure. I think my family's gonna spoil me on a ton of Star Wars stuff this year. Oh yeah, Star Wars every single year now they've got that Disney deal. Now once it's started, it's never gonna stop. Oh no, we're just gonna we're never gonna hear about the end of it with you and Star Wars stuff, are we? Nope. <laughs> the, the force is gonna be way too strong. <laughs> the force is strong with you, Patrick. So, final words, guys, as we're approaching, uh, approaching the end of this show. Uh, Patrick, what are your final words for the, the end? Well, I would just like to say thank you all for tuning in and listening to today's episode. If you would like to follow me or message me, you can talk to me on Twitter at Gana136. That's G-A-N-O-N-136. We'll have it hopefully in the description below. Um, if you want to follow me on my other podcast, the, I'm on the Resistance broadcast on Star Wars Newsnet every week. Um, yeah. I mean, I hope to see everybody um, at the live show. Um, you can follow me at Twitter um, at JasonRocks12345. And um, you can get some updates there. Uh, but really, I can't wait for the show. And I can't wait to experience it with all you guys. Thank you for being in the sh being if you were um follow us on twitter and instagram and snapchat and all that all right. and that's a wrap okay thanks for listening ladies and gentlemen uh we will see you on the next one make sure to check out santatracking.net where you can find all of our social media networks and our youtube channel as well have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you on the next one.